Hey folks, I am Troy and you're watching TroyTube. In this video, we're going to configure the anti-spam plugin for WordPress and help keep, uh, you know, like spammy comments and things out of your articles and your posts. Now we're going to do this with the anti-spam plugin that comes defaulted in WordPress. If we remember during the installation, there were two plugins that came installed by default. One was the Hello Dolly plugin, which I delete. I don't use that. But the other is the anti-spam plugin, which helps reduce the amount of spammy comments. Now the reasons these spam comments happen is because there are uh, there's a, a certain amount of weight put into search engine optimization as to how many websites that exist on the internet that have links that point back to your website. So there's a lot of spam techniques out there where they post these links all over all over the internet. I mean YouTube videos and social media, everything, uh, and WordPress and some of the other uh, websites that are common out there are those platforms are common to be used for that purpose. And the plugin that is installed by default is Akismet. Akismet. I, I don't know how to say it, but it's that one. It's the one that's installed by default. So we're going to go to their site, register for a an API key to put in the plugin, and that's about all there is to it. Uh, there is paid and free versions of the plugin. I just use the free one. I've not really had too many problems uh, with spam. So, uh, it, but if you run into that, you might want to consider paying for and getting the the paid license version. But for personal use, there is a free version. And I'll switch over to the computer and we'll get started. And as always, we are already logged into our WordPress admin control panel. And we're going to go down to plugins and go to installed plugins. As I mentioned, this uh, that it is, looks like it is pronounced a kismet, uh, a kismet maybe. I don't know. It's on their website, and it's the anti-spam plugin that comes built into WordPress. And we're going to activate this. And when we do, it's going to take us to our uh, control or our settings for the plugin. And we have two choices here: we can manually enter an API key if we already have one, or we can set up an a kismet account. So I'm going to click that. And it's going to take me to the WordPress.com uh, site, which is where they or Akismet.com, I guess. And I uh, can log in with a WordPress.com account as well. So I'm going to select that I want to get uh, personal. And you can choose to pay for it if you're feeling generous, or if it's just for personal use, you can dial this all the way back down to zero dollars per year. And you can put in your email address, your first and last name, and the site where you'll be using it. And you have to verify that you don't have ads, you do not sell products and services, and you do not promote a business on your site. And uh, it says if you're you know, of course, in their license agreement, if you don't meet those qualifications, you need to buy a commercial plan and pay for it. And uh, we can say continue with personal. And it will send you an email confirmation with a code that you need to put in. And that just kind of verifies who you are and that you are a legitimate user with a real email address, at least one good enough to get a code anyway. And then it says it will send you another email containing your API key, or you can log in to view it in your Akismet dashboard. Now, since it's emailed it to me, I'm just going to go over and say manually enter key. And I'm going to copy paste this key in here and click connect with API key. And you have some options you can choose here. You can say uh, show the number of approved comments. Uh, you can say uh, silently discard the worst and most pervasive spam so I never see it. Or always put spam in the spam folder for review. Now I'm going to put it up here to say silently discard. And uh, you can choose whether or not you want to display your privacy notice and save your settings. And then down at the bottom, of course, it shows that you have a personal non-commercial license that is active. And that's all there is to configuring it. Uh, so with your uh, API key entered, uh, you are completely uh, up and running with the Akismet anti-spam plugin. And there are a couple other settings, though, that I do like to set. And if I go under Settings and Discussion, there are... Uh, 
checkboxes here for various settings and I like to tell it that but users must be registered and logged in to comment so that gives a, a little bit layer uh, another layer of security to make sure that folks are logged in before they're able to comment uh, you can choose if you want to close comments on older posts uh, the other things I like to do are uh, set it down here I set it to email me whenever someone comments or comments help for moderation and then I also check this box is a comment must be manually approved and so uh, in it you can set uh, this to say uh, hold a comment in the queue if it contains one or more links so uh, common characteristics of common spam is a large number of hyperlinks so uh, this in addition to the Akismet plugin will allow you to um, control your spam and, and the, the type of information people comment on your posts and articles and pages uh, throughout your site and then yeah, you can uh, put uh, certain keywords that will catch uh, the spam and kind of quarantine it in the moderation queue until you approve it and then you can flat out uh, disallow uh, keys and, and uh, you know certain keywords and and uh, other uh, phrases so that it will definitely not be allowed and then you have some other things down here where uh, you can specify whether someone uses an avatar uh, maximum ratings so the type of information they're posting and uh, if someone uh, is logged in you can choose what you want their uh, picture to look like if they do not have a profile picture uh, when logged in as your website so uh, we'll save those settings and so now we're uh, at least moderately protected against spam comments. It works pretty well overall. There might still be some that come through and you can get posted, but uh, with these settings, they will be held in your uh, comment section until you approve them and they won't appear on your website. So hopefully that video has been helpful to you. If you have any questions or comments, post them down below uh, the video.